Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Life of Christ series. So this is episode four entitled, It Happened at the Fullness of Time. So today we're going to be discussing those two very important key points. It happened at the fullness of time. So Luke's gospel repeats a certain word, a Greek word. Uh, the Greek word is genomal or genomal. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but that word is translated, it happened. If you notice in the first few verses of the gospel of Luke, Luke is saying to Theophilus, I'm writing these things so that you will know for sure that it happened. And he will continue to say, and it happened, and it happened. So more reinforcement to the fact that in his gospel, he wants to drive home the point that it happened. Why do I say that? Because we have been going through episode one to four and going through the life of Christ, the reason for him coming. It's important to know that it happened. The Christmas season, as we celebrate it, with all the bells and whistles and the merchandising and the commercial of it is not what happened. Jesus coming is what happened. That's why we celebrate. We celebrate because this event happened. Jesus really came. God really came from his throne in heaven, put on flesh and came for you and me. This gives us even more hope to know that it can happen. Whatever that thing is that you're praying for, that you're hoping for, like they hoped for their coming Messiah, hope for that because it will happen. According to his word, according to his will, it will happen. Whatever miracle you're praying for, the blessing you're praying for, the healing you're praying for, it will happen. Amen. He mentioning or speaking about is the fullness of time. What does the fullness of time really mean? When you think of that term, it's like the fullness of time, but the fullness of time means the perfect time. When everything is in order, everything is in place, and then something happens. It is the fullness of time. It is God's perfect time. And this happened at the fullness of time. The book of Galatians chapter four says, and at the fullness of time, Jesus came. Amen. It may not have seemed like the perfect time when we look at the situation, the circumstances surrounding God's coming. We had Caesar who was ruling, and this was a pagan king, a king who did not worship the God of Israel, uh, who's calling a census. And it just so happens that it falls at a time when Mary, who is espoused to be married to Joseph, is eight months pregnant. And the census requires them to travel a great distance, over 90 miles, to their destination to go and register for the census. So again, it obviously does not seem like the perfect time, right? We think of the fact that Mary is a virgin, and she, yes, is espoused to be married and all of a sudden her life is thrown into a different direction when she finds herself pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And we look at this and we're saying, wow, that is a very odd time, a very difficult time, a very surprising time. And it doesn't seem like the perfect time, but we know that God's time is always perfect time when we think the timing is right. It's always God's time that's right. And he knows the best time to come. When angels went and spoke to shepherds, it was at the midnight hour. It was in the middle of the night on the night shift. And that was the perfect time. It was the perfect time for them to get that word, that good news, that Jesus, the Messiah, the Lord is born. Amen. So the fullness of time, it's God's perfect time. And whatever you're waiting for, whatever you're expecting, whatever you're hoping for, whatever you're anticipating, pray that the Lord's perfect time will come. Pray that his perfect will will be done. Remember, Jesus can come to us at any time. Nobody expected him to come at that particular moment, but it was the perfect moment. Jesus will come to you at the perfect moment. It may not be when you expect him to. You may want him to come right now. Your situation may feel dire. It may feel like, Jesus, I need you to show up right now. Do not lose hope if he does not show up at your time. Know that his time is perfect. And until he comes into your situation, continue to hold on to him. Continue to hope in him. Continue to wait for him. His perfect time, the fullness of time is coming. Christmas is so incredible. It's not just the gifts. 
it's not even just the time we spend with family and friends. It's that through it all, it happened. God chose you. He chose you at the perfect time. At a time when it may not have seemed the best time for others, He chose you. He made it the perfect time to come for you. It wasn't even the perfect time in Bethlehem because all the inns were full and all they had left was a stable. It never may seem like the perfect time. But when you and I are involved, God will always make time. He will always make time and it will always be the perfect time. This may be your day of visitation. This may be your perfect time. This may be the fullness of time in your life. The time when you stop and you say, this is the time that God is calling me. This is the time that God wants something to happen for me. This is the time that I can make it happen. I can give my life to God. I could give him the biggest and best gift ever. My life, my heart, I can give it to him. It can happen. This is the fullness of time. This is the perfect time. I pray that you have a beautiful and blessed Christmas season. Know that Jesus is the reason for the season. Blessed, stay safe. Remember, through it all, you are too blessed to be stressed. Take care, Merry Christmas, and God bless.